Hello everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial. Uh, this time around we're solving question 2 uh, in tutorial sheet 1. Yeah, so the question reads, let x be equal to uh, close brackets. These uh, kinds of brackets are normally called close brackets. Uh, co close brackets 0 and 0, 10. And then when you see these kinds of brackets, these are called uh, open brackets. Yeah, so what? Uh, we're actually talking about uh, set intervals yeah so these given uh, questions a b c uh, be the subset of x meaning if they are subsets of uh, x means that they are all in x find each of the following uh, and display and display them on the real line so we we'll quickly begin so we have uh, x, x is the universal set. So if we are now to find a B complement, so B complement, B complement will just be nothing but equal to, uh, so you look at the universal set. So the universal set is starting from zero. So we're trying B complement is we're trying we are trying to list whatever that is not in B but it's in the universal set. So B complement means we are listing what is in what what is in the universal set but it's not in B. Alright, so make sure those that have not yet subscribed to the channel subscribe so that you are not missing out on how we're going to be solving uh, questions on in the in the what in the tutorial sheet. Alright, so B complement here is uh, B complement here is is uh, we, we we do what we first look at the universal set. So in this universal set, uh, we have zero. Yeah, the universal set is starting from zero, and then when we go towards b or when we look at b our b is uh, 2 comma 8 so these kinds of brackets are implying to say 2 and 8 are not part of the set uh, b but we're talking about numbers between 2 and 8 we're talking about real numbers between 2 and 8 so if we were to, to write the b complement here we we'll say 0 and then comma we write our 2 since 2 is not in b it means that it is in the complement meaning we use this kind of bracket which shows that 2 is part of a uh, uh, b complement these kinds of brackets show that 2 is not part of b and then we combine this set with another set which starts from 8 so we're going to write 8 this one is starting from 8 up to 10 now is 8 part of b complement yes why because it's not in b so meaning it's part of b complement we're going to use this type of bracket and then is 10 part of B complement? Yes. Alright. So, this is uh, our B complement. So now the question is saying we display this on the real line. So when displaying this on the real line, you write, you draw your real line like that. So, this is your zero. If you want, you can even include negative 1 there. So 0, then you have 1, you have 2, you have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then you have 10 there like that. So we have, let me just write important numbers there. We have 1, we have 2, we have 10, 9, 8. Yeah, but you have to write all the numbers here. I'm just writing important numbers that we're going to be using. So from there, what you do is uh, you put this on the real line. So when you have this kind of brackets, it's mean that it, it, it simply means that we're going to shade the circle here. So meaning this circle is going to be shaded. And then we draw a line up to 2. You also draw another circle there at 2 which is shaded okay 
and then you go on eight you also draw there since we're using that kind of bracket meaning we're going to shade even at eight uh, same applies to this part here we're also going to shade at 10 like that and then uh, to write now the x so x is the universal set you always have to put it there yeah so x is the universal set you need to include it there so this is going to be from zero to ten okay so we draw a straight line okay so this is our x then we have our b complement you write you make sure that you show it to say this line is the one that is that is b complement yeah so we have b complement like that so this is how you show them on the real line but make sure that you put all the numbers that are needed there such that i i want to finish first this is why um I'm skipping some of these numbers. I'm not writing them. All right. So this is how you show it on the real line. You quickly move on to the next question. So the next question is saying we find. Uh, so the next question there is saying we find a intersection B. So a intersection B. A intersection B. So to find A intersection B, we're going to have uh, the common elements between A and B. So the common elements between A and B, we can first start with the smallest number here. We have one there. Do we have one? We have one in A. Now, do we have one in B? No. Which is the other smallest number? We have two there. We have two in B. So I'm going to two in B. There is also. 2 in A. So we're going to write 2 there and then we say comma and then what you do there after writing the comma you do what? This will be 2 comma 4. This will be 2 comma 4. Yeah. So once you write 2 comma 4 uh, now which kinds of brackets are we going to put there? Is it these kinds of brackets or these? Now you look at uh, the 2. Is 2 part of B? no so the two that we got is in b but it's not in b so meaning we're going to use this kind of brackets on b and then when you look at uh this part here uh where there is uh when you look at this part here uh we are saying uh, four is in a and four is also in b so 4 is in A, it's also in B. So what you do is uh, you include it. You include it in the set, the intersection set. Because when you look at this 4, it's part of A. And this same 4 again is, is between uh, 2 and 8, meaning you include it like that. So when drawing the real line, what you do is uh, you draw the number line like that. And then you write your numbers from zero yeah so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you write your ten like that so our intersection b is two comma four so we have two and three four we have two up to four so the kinds of um, the way we draw this is going to be different from the way we are shading this yeah because on two it's open so meaning it will not shade at two and then at at four it's closed this kind of brackets is closed so meaning we we'll shade at four yes so this is how it's going to be make sure that you include the the universal set okay so you make sure that you include the universal set say so the universal set here 
is x and then this is our a intersection b all right so to quickly do one to to quickly finish up what we are doing i think let me skip um okay I'll, I'll give you the solutions though i skip them i'll still give you the solutions so the third question here is uh, or oh, let me just finish them up so the third question here is telling us to find uh, a intersection b complement so a intersection b complement So A intersection B complement will simply be equal to, this is our A intersection B. So now we're going to list the elements that are in the universal set, but they are not in A intersection B. They are in the universal set, but they are not in A intersection B. In other words, we're trying to list the elements that are not in A intersection B. So if this is our A intersection B, it simply means that our a intersection B complement will start from zero since the universal set, our universal set X is starting from zero, and then it will end at two first. It will end at two, but where, but, but at two, since two is not part of um, the A intersection B, when you look at this kind of bracket which, which has been used at two, it's simply telling us to say two is not part of A intersection B, so it's going to be part of the complement. And then we say union, and then we begin at 4. Since 4 is part of uh, A intersection B, this kind of bracket here, which is being used, um, it's, simply, it's simply telling us to say 4 is part of A intersection B, meaning it will not be part of the complement. And then we say comma, we are ending up to 10, one, we are ending up to 10. So if we were not given the universal set, or if the universal set was a set of all real numbers, instead of writing 10 here, would have written uh, 4, comma, uh, infinity. Now, since we have been given x as our universal set, meaning we are ending at 10. Okay. So when it comes to drawing such a, such a what, a, a real line, you do the same way, the same way we've been drawing the previous ones. So you just put this on the okay let me just do a sketch this is zero then we have 10 so the first one is going to move from zero so this one will be shaded of course up to two so at two we're also going to shade because two is also part of our complement set there then from uh, we're going to start again from four uh, to ten so at four it's going to remain open and then at ten at ten is going to be closed it's going to be closed it's going to be closed at ten going to be closed at 10 yeah it's going to be closed at 10 and then now we make sure that we don't uh, forget to put the what the universal set so the universal set is uh, going to be x as usual The universal set is going to be x as usual and then this is our a this is our a intersection b complement okay so it applies to this one this is our a intersection b complement 
okay so this is how you solve such questions they are all simple and straightforward so let us now quickly move on to the fourth question uh, which says uh, we find uh, okay for this question I think what you should do is uh, let us go on top so that at least we should be able to to see what we are to see the the what is the given sets so I'll draw a margin here so we are going to have this so the question is saying uh, we find uh, a intersection we open the brackets b slash c so we first start by dealing with what is in the brackets there so we first write our a and then we say intersection b slash c is simply the same as b uh, slash, uh, i mean b intersection c complement yeah so b intersection c complement so the first thing that we can first find is c complement so c complement will c, c complement will be uh, we we have to stick to the universal set so meaning it's going to start from zero because c is here if c is here meaning it's going to start from zero i mean c complement is going to start from zero and end at three and then at three since since three is part of uh, c meaning it's not going to be part of the complement then we say un union and then we start uh, 6, we write 6, and then 6, uh, since 6 is not part of uh, C, meaning it's going to be part of the complement, and then we say comma, we write our 10 like that. So our 10 is part of the complement. So from there, uh we 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 look at b so we find the common elements between b and c complement we're trying to find b intersection c complement because we're trying first to deal with what is in the brackets so b intersection c complement b intersection c complement is going to be equal to so this is c complement and our b is a uh, this part here so we find the common elements there you discover to say when you look at two we have two there so two is going to be a uh, part of our b intersection c complement and then it's going to be open because uh, the two that we have is open it's not closed and then it's going to be open and then we write comma this is going to be we're going to end at three because uh, we have a three there and it's also open yeah and then we say union and then we begin from six then end at eight we're trying to find the common elements so we begin at six and then end at eight and then of course our eight is going to be open uh, since it's open here and then our six is also I mean our 6 is going to be closed like that yeah since it's found in both C complement and uh, B so after finding this let us now find let, let us now intersect this uh, this this uh, th this B intersection C complement with A so let us now find the common elements between A and uh, B intersection C so A is uh, 1 comma 4 so we find the common elements between 1 comma 4 and uh, this b intersection c complement and then this is what we're going to have as our answer b intersection i mean a intersection b slash c b slash c so when you look at this um, b intersection c complement and uh, 
1,4 there you can agree with me to say 2,3 is between 1,4 so meaning that is the common uh, that is the common set that we have there so 2,3 is our final answer right so this is the answer that we've been looking for so after having uh, found this it is now easier for us to draw it on the real line so on the real line there of course you put your zero up to 10 so what i'm doing i'm just sketching make sure that when you when you are writing it you put all the numbers in between here i'm just trying to do a quick thing so from two to three and uh, at both ends it's going to be open even here it's going to be open what i mean that by by sketching i'm not adding the other numbers like one is not there four is not there and other numbers but for you you have to put them when you are writing them when you're writing more especially in your exam on your test so this is our universal set x and then it's shaded on both ends it's closed on both ends so even here it's closed on both ends yeah so this is our you can name this as a intersection you write your b slash c yeah and then this is your x so let us quickly solve the last question so the last question is um, x slash a union a slash b so um i don't know if i should put it this side okay okay let me just write it down or just even this side is okay sorry anyway let me just put it down Okay. So the last question says, the last question, which is question five, is requiring us to find x uh, slash a. X slash a, then union a slash b. So here what we can do is first we can simplify this uh, expression before we, we even start finding the answers. So let us first simplify the uh, expression. So how do you simplify this? A slash A is just the same as A, in, I mean X slash, I mean X intersection A complement. Okay. And then union a slash b is just the same as a intersection b complement yeah so you remember according according to the set laws that we learned any any set intersection uh, uh, the universal set because our x is the universal set so any set intersection the universal set is simply that same set Then we say union, we have A, intersection, B, complement. So A, complement, union A. So I mean, we can now use the distributive uh, law here. So I'm going to say A complement, we distribute A complement with what is in the brackets there. So A, A complement union A. You put it in brackets, then you write your symbol there, which is the intersection symbol. Then here you have a complement uh, union B, a complement union B complement. 
Okay? So A complement union A is simply the universal set. So A complement and our universal set is denoted by X in this question. So A complement union A is simply the universal set. So universal set intersection A uh, so A A complement union. So here it's just a matter of simplifying the expression. Once it's simplified, it will even be easier for us to find the answer. So a, any, a, any set, any set meaning this set, intersection, the universal set, will just uh, result to that same set. So still remain with this same set. And according to De Morgan's law, this can also be written as A intersection B, A intersection B, and then complement. You just change the sign in between and then remove the, sign, the, the complement outside. So this now becomes even easier for us to uh, find, yeah, if it becomes even easier for us to, to, add, to, to solve. So, we already have A intersection B. We found A intersection B in the beginning. And we found A intersection B to be, let us just go back on top. All right. Yeah, I think it, the solution is even on, on this, uh, on part three. Because at one point we were, we were asked to find A intersection B complement. And then when you simplify this, it's also taking us to the same a intersection B complement. So in other words, this uh, solution, the solution for this, which is A intersection B complement, is simply uh, this part, this same solution here on top. So this is the solution for the last question. So instead of me drawing it, this is the sketch and this is the solution for uh, A intersection B complement. So thank you very much for watching the tutorial video. Make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, so that you don't miss out the uh, the other questions that I'm going to be solving in your tutorial sheets. Yeah, I'm not on, I'm not only going to solve tutorial sheet one, but I'll solve all the tutorial sheets that me, that your lecture is going to be uh, releasing, uh, including some of your uh, physics tutorial sheet questions. Yeah, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and make sure that every time I post the video here you watch it it's really going to help you to clear your mathematics uh, with good grades alright shalom shalom